the number one mistake nice guys like you make? <laughs> Being too nice. <laughs> As you can see, I am ready for this episode of Avatar with the cosplay, which is clearly Zuko's outfit. Um, you know, it's Zuko's outfit mixed with soccer, as you can see. Uh, I didn't know if you guys could tell the outfit, but now it's fully complete when I bring in my boy Appa right here. So I am very happy to be watching this episode wearing this. And as you guys know, if you want early access to a lot more episodes, be sure to check out my Patreon as there'll be a lot more on there. And now I don't want to wait too long. I want to do some airbending in this outfit. <laughs> get into the next episode the fortune teller hmm okay is that a big fish or just a close angle he is taunting us <laughs> so gonna be dinner get him sucker hey where's the fishing line oh I didn't think you would need it's me hey <laughs> Ang does work better though. I thought since you lost your other one. Oh. Thanks, Ang. I love it. Great, Ang. Maybe instead of saving the world, you can go into the jewelry making business. <laughs> I don't see why I can't do both. <laughs> it's true. Could be a side hustle for Ang. Go the boomerang. Uh, how do I look? Oh no. Oh no. All of you or just your neck? I mean, oh. both look like Oh, Aang, caught in 4K. Smoochy smoochy. Stop teasing him, Sokka. Aang's just a good friend. A sweet little guy. Friend just zone. Like Momo. Just look at him. That's the face of someone friend zoned. Someone's being attacked by a platypus bear. A what now? A platypus bear. <laughs> it's the fortune teller. Was that a bear ate Perry the platypus? Make noise or run off! <laughs> no, play dead. He'll lose interest. No, this guy's oh, messing with him. Look. Close one. <laughs> run downhill, then climb a tree. No, punch him in the bill. And then run in zigzags. No need. It's going to be fine. That thing's actually really scary. Whoa there. Whoa there. <laughs> oh. Appa, good boy, Appa, good boy. Mmm, lunch. <laughs> but everything was already under control. The way Not he spins. Aunt Wu predicted I'd have a safe journey. The teeth, three teeth. She's the fortune teller from my village. Oh, he's not the fortune teller. That explains why you were so calm. But the fortune teller was wrong. You didn't have a safe journey. You were almost killed. But I wasn't. Right. Oh no, he hasn't got three teeth. <laughs> So, you know, the premise of the episode, I want to hear Aang's fortune. Or should I say my fortune? What do you know? An umbrella. What do you know? Great timing. <laughs> ah, no, no. <laughs> no lunch. Look, I'm going to predict the future now. It's going to keep drizzling. Watch when it stops See? now. <laughs> of course. Yeah, not everyone has the gift, sucker. It's okay. Aunt Wu is expecting you. <laughs> really? My name is Meng, and I'm Aunt Wu's assistant. <laughs> oh my god, she's in love with Aang. She loves the his hair. <laughs> He's just so unbothered. But she loves the drip. I'll try it, curd puff. Just a second. So what's your no name? No one asked you, sucker. Aang. That rhymes with Mang, and you've got some pretty big ears, don't you? I guess. <laughs> that sound effect. I can't believe we're here in the house of nonsense. Look at those feet. Try to keep an open mind, Sokka. There are things in this world that just can't be explained. Wouldn't it be nice to have some insight into your future? It yeah. would be nice to have some bean curd puffs. <laughs> oh, Mang, Aunt Wu says I'm going to meet my true love. He's going to give me a rare panda lily. Sucker runs to get a panda lily. Wonder if my true love will give me a rare flower. Good luck with that. <laughs> Is that the big ear guy who Aunt Wu predicted you'd marry? Aunt Wu said someone with you're gonna marry someone with big ears. But did she say he's the airbender? Now who's next? Don't be shy. Can't you predict who's next? I guess that's me. Not bad, not bad. Mmm. 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 Mm? <laughs> I'm good on puffs. Hmm. What do you think they're talking about back there? Boring stuff, I'm sure. Love, who she's gonna marry, how many babies she's gonna have. 
Yeah, dumb stuff like that. Yeah, dumb stuff like that. Please let it be me, please. You use moisturizer? Actually, I have this special seaweed lotion. I could get you some if you want. So, do you see anything interesting in my love line? I see a great romance <laughs> for you. <laughs> can see that he's a very powerful bender. Yeah. Yeah. It's him. It's me, Tang. Okay, let's get this over with. Your future is full of struggle and anguish. Most of it self-inflicted. But wow. you didn't read my poems or anything. I don't need to. It's written all over your face. <laughs> and backbending? The bones never lie. Go on. The bones never lie. The heat makes cracks in the bones. And I read the bone cracks to tell your destiny. Okay. Wow, that's a big crack. Oh, it's gonna be like the Fire Lord or something. <gasps> oh my! Fire Lord? You will be involved oh, in a no. great battle. An awesome conflict between the forces of good and evil. A battle whose outcome will determine the fate of the whole world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I knew yeah, that already. Change the record. Say about a girl? A girl? You want to know about love? No. Yes. I'm sorry, but I didn't see anything. No. Hi. Right here. It says, trust your heart and you will be... Oh, she's just giving him some hope. Respect. <laughs> Even though his life is just full of explosions. That woman is crazy. My life will be calm and happy and joyful. Yeah, how's that going? Well, I liked my predictions. Certain things are going to turn out very well. Oh, God, they're not going to be together, are they? But I ship them now after seeing him being s he's so in love with her. We're waiting for Aunt Wu to come and read the clouds to predict the fate of the whole village. That cloud kind of looks like a fluffy bunny. You better hope that's not a bunny. The fluffy bunny cloud forecasts doom and destruction. <laughs> Do you even hear yourself? Cloud reading will tell us if Mount Makapu will remain dormant for another year. Oh, it's gonna erupt. I can't believe you would trust your lives to that crazy old woman's superstition. Mm. Shh, she's coming. To be honest, I believe her. Don't you think that cloud looks like a flower? Uh, huh? sure. Except I don't believe her prediction with her. But I think Mang is just predicting Aang for herself. With a twisted nub coming off the end of it. The village will not be destroyed by the volcano yeah. this year. <laughs> we won't be destroyed by hot magma. I like you, but more than normal. Oh my god, he actually said that. Never mind. She didn't hear. Aang, come on. About this man mm. I'm supposed to marry. Is he going to be handsome? Oh, I have to call. <laughs> Always with the tool. They seem happy, Sokka. Not for long. I'm going to prove Aunt Wu's predictions are nonsense. I bet Aunt Wu told you to wear those red shoes, didn't she? Yeah, she said I'd be wearing red shoes when I met my true love. Uh-huh. And how many times have you worn those shoes since you got that fortune? Every day. <laughs> yeah, that's true. true. This guy's a complete idiot. And then you'll have your third great-grandchild before quietly passing away in your sleep. Oh my god, she went through her whole life. Oh wait. One more thing. How warmly should I dress tomorrow? You want me to do a reading for that? Oh, no. To be fair, I just realized this is astrology girls. <laughs> and guys who are the complete opposite. You know some stuff about ladies, right? Some stuff? You've come to the right place. What can I do you for? Well, there's this girl. <laughs> not mine. I think I know who you mean. No. Nope. You do? <laughs> it's not, it's not mine. I've been picking up a subtle vibe that she likes you too. <laughs> she does? Oh yeah, she's crazy about you. All you have to do now is not mess it up. Well, how do I do that? The number one mistake nice guys like you make? <laughs> being too nice. <laughs> yeah, it's true though. Oh my God, sucker knows, sucker knows. Well, okay. <laughs> hey, Ang. Oh my God, this deals with nice guys. Wow. That kid is good. <laughs> and you'll be fine. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Leave him on red. Should I eat a mango oh my or a God. papaya for breakfast tomorrow? Shut papaya. Up. Hey, Katara. I didn't see you there. <laughs> That's okay. No, but it only works if they like you, Egg. Look at him standing there so cute. Okay. So, papaya. 
<laughs> this is the best episode. I don't really care what I eat. Okay then. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Maybe aloof isn't my style. Excuse me. Where can a guy find one of those things? I honestly love this so much. Avatar knew about simps long before anyone else. Flowers are fine once you're married, but at this early stage, it's critical that you maintain maximum aloofness. <laughs> maximum aloofness. Don't tell me you believe in that stuff too. Well, Aunt Wu hasn't been wrong yet. Why should she be wrong about love? There, on the rim. Well, there they are. I swear, if this thing erupts right now. Oh no. It's gonna. Aunt Wu was wrong. She's wrong. Those people all think they're safe. We've got to warn them. There's no time to walk. Grab on. Ah! But does her prediction still come true because Aang warns them and Aang can stop it? Hi, Katara. Can you believe she won't let me in? And after all the business I've given her? But she doesn't even charge. <laughs> all the business is free. Aunt Wu was wrong about the volcano. Sokka, you tried to convince me she was wrong before. It's gonna take an awful lot to change my mind. Yep. Right on cue. Oh no. Aunt Wu was wrong. Yeah, yeah. We know you oh, don't believe in on. Aunt Wu, Mr. Science and Reason. <laughs> Mr. Science and Reason lover. I want to believe Aunt Wu and her predictions as much as you do. But my brother and Aang saw the lava with their own eyes. Well, I heard Aunt Wu's prediction with my own ears. You are all in danger. And we have to get out of here. Can't rely on Aunt Wu's prediction. These guys are completely blinded. Can your science explain why it rains? Yes! This idiot in his bloody red shoes. They just won't listen to reason, but they will listen to Aunt Wu. I know, that's the problem. Well, it's about to become the solution. Yeah, just kick the door down. Force her to tell everyone. Oh! Oh, I didn't see you there. You don't like me, do you? Oh. Of course I like you, but not the way I like you. I guess not. It's okay. It's just really hard when you like someone, but they don't think- Well, of course, but you did just meet him. I can see why you like her so much. She's a bender, and her hair seems so manageable. <laughs> You're gonna meet a great guy who's gonna completely fall for you. I know it. Thanks. Don't you want this? Oh, she's helping. I've kind of been stalking you. <laughs> <laughs> That's not weird. Yes, Appa. The clouds are made of water and air. So between the two of us, we ought to be able to bend them into any shape we want. I found it. The symbol for volcanic doom. What is it? Oh, they're making it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> what was that, Appa? <laughs> he hasn't got... Oh, he's got a big tail on this one. Aunt Wu, look. Something's happening in the clouds. That's very strange. It shouldn't... <gasps> oh, my... <laughs> That's the symbol. <laughs> that just says doom. Sokka has a plan. Lava is going to flow downhill to this spot. If we can dig a deep enough trench, we can channel all the lava away from the village to the river. If any of you are earthbenders, come with me. I'm an earthbender. I'm not. Oh Everybody my else, God. grab a shovel. <laughs> Come on, we've got to hurry. I don't know if they can save this village. But then again, I mean, technically her prediction will be right. Oh, you got a few earthbenders. Yes. Look at Appa. Dig faster, dig faster. Thanks for the help, buddy. Momo, the real MVP. And this is pretty cool, though. Oh my god, they're just standing there hoping it works. There's so much. It's too much, it's gonna overflow. Yeah, where's my mind going? What are you doing? Wow, okay. Oh, oh my god, I love that at the end. Sometimes I forget what a powerful bender that kid is. He's the avatar. Wait, what did you just oh. say? Nothing, just that Aang is one powerful bender. Oh, yes, please look at him like that. Please, please. Suppose he is. By the way, we kind of borrowed your book. So you messed with the clouds, did you? <laughs>
very clever. Clever. No offense, but I hope this has taught everyone a lesson about not relying too much on fortune telling. But Aunt Wu predicted the village wouldn't be destroyed. You see? I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's exactly what I said. Can I ask you something? Of course. Was she right all along? You didn't really see love in my fortune, did you? You just told me what I wanted to hear. I'll tell you a little secret, young airbender. Just as you reshape those clouds, you have the power to shape your own destiny. Aww. Goodbye, everyone. No matter how much chaos happens, the end always makes me feel so happy. <laughs> uh, this was the funniest episode i think out of the ones we've watched so far anything to do with nice guys and simps and being aloof like what sucker was telling ang it makes me crack up and now it puts a little love story in the mix with ang so that'll be really interesting to see where that goes and i hope you guys did enjoy this reaction as well as the outfit so let me know if you want me to keep wearing these things occasionally or try some different cosplays i know there's a lot of different characters I mean, I could do so many, so please let me know in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the outfit and the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for it. I do enjoy wearing stuff like this. I find it very fun. And if you want more episodes, you know where to go on that Patreon in the description. So thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.